Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video we're going to talk about how you can make more money as an engineer. So, let's get started. For those who are currently a college student and are getting their engineering degree, doesn't matter what degree it's in, um, and you're looking to get a good paying job, well engineering is a great degree to get. When you first start out, you will be getting a higher salary than the average uh, recent college graduate. That's great and you could definitely take advantage of that and then start saving and investing whatever it is you need to do. But as time goes on, you may have to get a pay raise due to inflation, especially this year. Inflation increased by like eight, nine percent or for example you are going through a transitional period in your life where you probably found an engineering job and you're working there for a couple years your financial situation may significantly change or you may want to maybe uh, buy a house or get a bigger home or you want to move somewhere that might be more expensive than where you're currently living that'll all increase your expenses so if you're one who's looking to make more money in general then please continue watching this video because it will list the different ways and different methods that you could use in order to increase your salary. So with that, I'm gonna get started. The very first thing you can do is get a master's degree. So for example, I got my master's degree in computer engineering. Um, at the time, I didn't have an engineering job when I got my bachelor's. I just went straight from bachelor's to master's. And I think at the time, I would have had an annual income of 85K with my bachelor's degree. I looked at the positions for those who got a master's degree and those positions, they paid about 110. So I was like, well, might as well go for another year, you know, increase it from 85K to 110, it's definitely worth it. So I decided, yeah, let's just go get my master's and then get hired on. And that ended up working out. So if you're someone who has a bachelor's degree and you're currently working as an engineer, um, no matter what engineer, computer, electrical, whatever, and your wages are stagnant or your salary is stagnant and you want to bump it up a bit significantly, then I would suggest getting a master's degree. Going back to school, maybe your company could work with you on that. Um, maybe they could pay part of the tuition. Maybe they could pay all the tuition, who knows? But if not, then I still think that getting the master's degree was the best way to go and it's the quickest way because you can get your degree in about a year or two. I think 10, 20% increase in your salary is what you know you would probably get with your master's degree versus your bachelor's. That would be number one, is just to hone in your expertise in a certain area by getting further education. Now number two, this is specific for engineers who are probably wanting to go down the business management path. Um, and that is to get an MBA, so a master's in business administration. This is a good option for you because you can go up the ranks in terms of becoming a manager or becoming a senior manager. This would be the best route or a really good starting point in order to get there. Managers do get paid more than the average engineer. If you're currently working as, as an engineer, you could probably go get your MBA and then apply to a managerial position in the same company. And you're more likely to get it within that same company because you do know um, other people. You have your colleagues, your coworkers, um, your, even your own manager, they could vouch for you. Um, that is if you're a good employee, but I'm assuming that you would be. Uh, so that is a great option is to just get your MBA. And number three is something that anyone can do, no matter if you're an engineer or not, which is to switch jobs. So you can go and apply to a different company, um, a completely different field. Let's say you're currently a mechanical engineer and you're more interested in computers, you know, you just, it just sparked your interest one year. Um, so you decide to apply to be a computer engineer at a different company. Um, you might not be able to get a position in that scenario because you would probably lack experience when it comes to computers, but that doesn't mean you still can't try. Another scenario is if you're a computer engineer and you decided that you wanted to go to a different company to get that higher salary. Well, you could say, hey, I am a good, reliable person. Um, I've done X, Y, Z at this company. I've worked on these projects. Um, I'm a good team player. So you really want to talk very positively about yourself and really emphasize the amount of work and the difficulty of that work that you had done in previous projects or at that company. Um, now, you don't want to go off and, and start bragging or be, you know, maybe condescending in a way because that's a big turnoff. But you also want to really demonstrate your strengths to that new company. And when you do that, you could then say, yeah, by the way, I'm actually getting X amount at 
this company, like 110K, and then just leave it at that so that it's in their minds because they need to have some sort of incentive to make you leave that current company. Other than saying that it's a good and loyal company, you, you really don't know until you start working there. The only other way that they could convince you to leave your current job is to offer you a higher salary. So that's why applying to a different job is another great way to increase your engineering salary. If you're someone who just is very happy with where you're at and you don't want to leave, you don't want to move and go to a different company like I do, I, I'm really happy with where I'm at, then you can always just work in a different area in that company or try to find more experience in another area and then try to apply to a position there. So there are more options than moving to a completely new and different company. It's just that when you do move and you leave, you're more likely to get a higher salary at your new job. The next way you could increase your engineering salary is by just moving to a different state. And yes, you don't have to be an engineer to do this. You could be anyone working um, can do this, just move to a different state and find a new job. But if you're an engineer who happens to be remote working, that's even better because you can keep your current job if you like it and you end up just technically giving yourself a salary raise by not having to spend as much money per year. So you'll have more money to either save or invest or um, spend on yourself because you might be in an expensive state right now and um, going to a cheaper one will definitely increase your salary. And then the last one is to simply simply ask for a raise. Now you don't want to just go and ask one day randomly be like, hey, um, I've been working here for two years. Can I get like a 10% increase? That just seems kind of like very rude in a way. You want to be able to demonstrate the work you've done similar to that previous example that I gave about moving to a different company. Um, just demonstrate your strengths, uh, show what you've done in projects and how you've helped the company bring in profit, uh, how much profit if you know and maybe show how much of a team player you've been, how you've been able to work with others and, and help your teammates in certain areas, uh, how experienced you are. Maybe you can also talk about your expertise in a certain area and you demonstrate your knowledge in that area. And I think you should get a paper that summarizes all of that so that you have something to go off of and you can also give it to them so that they could review it for later if they want. Show them what you've done, how you've helped the company, how much profit you gave them, if that's available. Other like soft skills, like how you've contributed in this presentation, how you've developed as a an employee there and how you care for that company, why you care about the company, um, and how you want to see it progress in, in this way. All of that really does matter when it comes to asking for the raise uh, with your manager. Uh, and then your manager will be able to look at this and be like, okay, well, there's a legitimate argument here. I can see why they would want a raise and why they actually deserve a raise. Again, depends on the company and the manager especially, but most managers do want to help their team um, progress, whether it be financially, um, educational, whatever it is. They will most likely back you up on it and then from there, it's up to them to ask the senior manager or you know, HR and get that going. And so the last way you can increase your salary as an engineer is to become a PE, which is a professional engineer. Now I'm not too familiar with this, but from my understanding, you get a license that says you are a PE, you're a professional engineer. And when you get that license, that basically says, hey, I can take on these more impactful roles like supervising a project, being a project lead because I have more experience or I have taken the education in order to get this license. So that is something that I think you should definitely consider if you want to get, you know, just a slight bump in your salary. Those are all the ways that you can increase your salary as an engineer. I hope you use one of these methods and I hope it works out for you. Please like and subscribe if you would like to see more and leave a comment if you have any other video suggestions. Hope you guys like this video and thank you for watching. Bye.